Finally, I'm playing MLB on the channel and it's here and we're here and we're doing road to the show. So we're going to do a male ball player because I'm a male. Uh, we will use the currently active roster. So it might not have all of the prospects, but that's not as big of a deal in road to the show. We are going to be a two way player. I did say I would do that. So we're going to be a starting pitcher and then I haven't decided where else we should play. So do we want to throw absolute heat? Do we want to have a ton of break? Do we want to have control or do we want to be a knuckle baller? Okay, actually I'm cool with heat i just want to have a nasty sweeper a sweeping curve as long as i can have a really nasty curveball obviously we want to be a home run hitter we're trying to be shohei otani 2.0 i think and we're gonna be a starting pitcher and then what position should we play as our two-way player i was kind of thinking catcher it makes sense a little bit to be a catcher and a pitcher they obviously kind of go together very well first base is a super easy one i think that should be off the table because it's kind of boring any of the infield positions or any of the outfield positions are fun let's play center let's be a center fielder will be the captain of the outfield range is imperative oh so we'd want to be fast so maybe not right infielders are not required to have as much speed and range but often have the strongest that makes perfect sense right field you have a cannon of an arm which makes sense because we're a pitcher and you don't have to cover as much ground i've decided the name of our player so the truman family has kind of become the family of this youtube channel we've got chester truman the elite wide receiver in the nfl the elite wide receiver in the nfl you've got chester truman's little brother daniel the terrible wide receiver on the same team in the NFL. This, this is Trevor Truman. He is the third son of the Truman family and he is a baseball player. He decided not to go the football route. He played quarterback in high school, but decided to go baseball instead of football. That's his story. You want Joe Truman? I was also thinking Teddy, like Teddy Truman. I want it to be a T name though for the alliteration. Teddy, I think Ted, I'm, I'm feeling Teddy now. Teddy Truman. And Truman is really not a last name in this. T-Ball. T-Ball is a great nickname. Teddy Truman. Truman's not a name in this. He can be Teddy Trucks, though. Teddy Tug. Teddy Tug. Teddy Tug Truman. You want Teddy Tug? All right, Teddy Tug it is. I honestly just already love his look. I think this is I think that this is Teddy Truman in a nutshell. Okay, I think that we're ready. Bang. It's Teddy Truman. Micah Davis is calling. Hey, Teddy, this is Micah Davis from the MLB Scouting Bureau, and I have some exciting news for you. Oh, oh, we would like to invite you to this year's MLB Draft Combine. Absolutely, Micah. Thank you so much. Glad to hear it. It'll be a huge opportunity to show what you can do. Wait. Oh, that's him. That's Micah talking. I'm so dumb. Here we go. These are warm-up pitches. So if I'm not hitting like all of them, I'm an idiot. And it's just about putting them into play. I don't have to be crazy. It's just putting them in play. Oh my God. Is that gone? Is that a foul? That's gone. Yep, yeah, gone. Like I mentioned, chat, I play so that like the ratings mean something, which is why I don't use the PCI. I prefer to just let the ratings do the talking. So that is why I just use directional and just go based on timing, which means that until he gets higher plate vision, he's going to suck. Oh, that was a very early swing. That was, that's just a fly out to center. My grade is an A though, so that's good. Well, I will take that. An A is a good grade in my book and in most people's books. For outfield drills, we're putting you all in center field. You'll get this some ground. Okay, some ground with some fly balls. And then throw to third, which I think is square, which I think I want to flip. I want to flip those controls around if I can. Yeah, it is, it is square. Oh, this is new. Oh, wait, did I get that off? I did. Okay, cool. And then it's going to be this weird showtime throwing thing again. God, it's fast too. You don't have a lot of time to think about it. That's kind of cool though. It's definitely much more challenging than just the little target to hit right trigger on. That was way too easy. Well, it's a little fast, so... If I'm not on my A game, I'm going to miss it, which I'm never on my A game, let's be honest. Triangle, triangle, X, triangle, circle. God, I'm cutting it close. Looks like this one will be a grounder because the runner's at first. Yeah, it's a grounder. Oh, this is just uh, this is just one of the aim ones. That guy's way out. Actually, that tag was super late. Was he out? I don't know. Attempt number two of the grounders. Oh, this one, this one's going to be a little closer. Oh, I was not ready. 
you had me do aim before and now it's the wow he's way out and now it's the buttons pick a lane it's got to be one or the other oh now we're throwing home we do not have a big arm i would assume although that doesn't really make sense does it, it feels like we should have a big arm the fact that we're a pitcher that throws absolute gas bang so free throwing home again this one will be a grounder because there's the guy on second absolute launch oh i think we got him there's no ump to tell us if we got him or not but i think we got him for your bullpen session on the mound we'll be evaluating your velocity command and the movement of your pitches i didn't get to pick my pitches yet that kind of sucks don't try to do too much we want to see how hard you throw but most importantly try to hit your spots pitching interface okay i i personally prefer the meter you guys can try to talk me into the pinpoint if that's what you think is better i'm just i'm just a meter boy at heart you know boom what that was in the yellow I don't care who you are bang what dude are okay we we're not the most accurate of pitchers at the moment our control is not the best those of you that use the pinpoint pitching thoughts on it versus the meter what are you what are your feelings you like the pinpoint oh my goodness that was horrendous try again we're down to a grade c oh no we might be the worst pitcher here oh my god this is going terribly why are we throwing a high slider okay we're back we're, we're so back oh we're so back that wasn't great to be honest I had a clinic you put on today teddy wow you're showing us what you can do in these games coming up in the next few days and you'll put yourself in a great spot for the draft who knows you might even earn an invite to be at the draft in person oh the rockies are interested bro the rockies it, let's not go there to kill our career the rockies where careers go to die 59 overall by the way we suck let's equip our perks shall we so we have a few things it looks like i did keep my stuff from my, my pack openings from my other road to the show lad and then yeah maybe just power two i hope i can get another skill set soon so i can run different ones depending on when i'm pitching and when i'm hitting here's our pitches so four seam is fine that can be the primary instead of a slider i want a sweeper and then maybe a 12 6 curve as well and then do we want a change up or like a circle change or maybe like a vulcan change so we've got the yeah i think we'd want downward right because we have a sweeper that goes heavy to the side we've got a 12 6 that goes down we've got a fastball which it's not a rising fastball but that's how a fastball looks it almost looks like it rises and then you can you've got a vulcan which drops i think that makes sense and then should we have another pitch maybe like a another fastball type oh i'm a big fan of the cutter actually let's go combine draft combine four day event 100 prospects 30 mlb teams game one do you think we're pitching or hitting in this well we're not pitching because that's not us jason small here we go teddy truman's first at bat yeah see it's on veteran for dynamic currently but we'll up it ball one he's got the best eye in all of sports if you guys are just joining in stream, Teddy Truman, the little brother of Chester and Daniel Truman from my Denver Broncos franchise, decided to go with baseball instead of football like his two older brothers and has just grounded into a force out at second. He is a right fielder because presumably he'll have a big arm as a pitcher, although I know that's not actually true. And we'll throw this one to second as it falls down. I could have I could have dove, but I don't want to make myself look stupid. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to be playing something that isn't Madden. Genuinely the best. Oh, this guy's running on me? Bang. You're gone. Later. We're back up to bat. Oh, that one's a gapper. Actually, that might not get down at all. Okay, it did. And it's gonna get that guy to third. Hopefully he is super slow, but he got there. Okay, so we got a runners on first and third. And I think I have this set to skip us running. Yeah, I do, because we're slow. So there's no point in watching our boy Teddy Truman run the bases, but it is four nothing for our team. Three and O oh for Teddy. Oh, that was such a weak hit, I feel like. Yeah, center fielder just gets right underneath that and Teddy is gone. Showtime activated? Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm learning how things work. I'm missing this for sure. Wait, I... Oh, I did miss it. I knew it. 
throw the ball, Teddy. Golly. Okay, a few more teams are interested. Wow, that was already game one done, huh? That went by fast. I feel like we did not show up very well. Okay, we do get to play as a starting pitcher. Catcher wants a Vulcan change. We'll give him a Vulcan change. Oh my God, we left that up in the zone. Holy cow. Catcher wants a 12-6 curve. Catcher gets a 12-6 curve. Oh my God, Teddy, please. Stop hanging these slow pitches. All right, let's see. Let's see if this sweeper's nasty. Do we have a nasty sweeper? Ooh, that was kind of nasty, actually. That was a good pitch. And it gets him out at first. Steven Tejeda is the next victim for Teddy Truman. And wow, that was a good accuracy, and it still was not great. All right, he wants a 12-6 curve. I'll give him a 12-6 curve. Let's put some juice on it. Oh, nice pitch, Teddy. He wants a Vulcan change the outside. I can I can oblige. That's a terrible pitch. That's on me. My timing was horrendous. All right, we go back. We go back to the fastball high and inside. We've changed the eye level a bunch. And he swung at that. I cannot believe he swung at that. I wonder how long you play in this prospect thing. Now we're to the second. Teddy's still in. That is going to be a fly out, it looks like, to right field. How long does it take to get to the majors? Typically, you have to do like a full season of double A, and then you'll be called up for like spring training of majors for the following season. And then sometimes you have to play even a little bit more of triple A, but I would say usually, oh, I forgot the pitch clock was a thing now. I thought I could just talk forever. Usually it takes about a, a year of play, uh, but I think it probably heavily depends on your overall. Can I see a pitch clock anywhere? Because I just got a pitch clock violation. I can't actually see a pitch clock, which is not ideal as the pitcher getting called for pitch clock violations. Oh, we're going sweeper. Low and outside. Watch this. Bang. Oh, how does he not swing at that? That pitch was gross. Oh, and that's way inside a walk. Dang. Up the middle, double play. Double play ball? Bang. Oh, that guy was kind of fast, too. Double play for Teddy Truman. Full count. Can Teddy get the strikeout or a ground out? Really, any type of out. I'll take it. That is right down the middle. That is a base hit for David Sung. David Cruz up to the plate. 0 1 count. Runner on first. And ooh, that's nearly into the gap. Just weak enough to get to the center fielder. So not looking great at the moment. We've got two on with no outs to start the third here for Teddy Truman. Kind of not in a great place, but the scouts are going to be watching intently. They're going to be curious if, if Teddy can get himself out of a situation like this. Oh man, his Vulcan is just not working currently. So we go a high inside fastball. That was a great pitch up to 97 as well. He wants the cutter. I can do that. Let's start inside and try to hit the corner. Nope. Just the control not quite there for Teddy. It's a 2-2 count. He wants the Vulcan change, but the Vulcan just hasn't been working. I'm going to go sweeper. Oh, my God. We left that way up, but it strikes out Michael Chappell for Chapel. Glenn McGrath. Now with one out, looking for a double play ball. Not it. Can we prevent the run from scoring? Runner on his way to the plate throw, not in time. And that is an earned run for Teddy Truman here. We'll go Vulcan change again. That was the double play ball I was looking for, but it was still hit to a good spot. Okay, there's the Vulcan getting going. Let's just get out of this with no more runs. Huh? He gave up two. Giving up two is like, it's a respectable amount of runs to give up in an outing. Golly, Teddy. Oh, Lord. That one's getting down as well. So there goes another run for this blue prospects team. And Teddy is struggling. He cannot get a second out. We're going to stick with the fastball. It's the only one he seems to have any control over. I'm going to try the cut fastball. But I don't have high hopes. That is a phenomenal pitch from Teddy Truman. He's locked in. He's back. We're so back. And now we give him the old sweeping curveball. And he swings and he misses. So Teddy gives up three runs in the inning, but I think his three outs were strikeouts. So very volatile performance. Still in the game. It's 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, okay. 2-0 count. Okay, that's a good pitch. We're going to the Vulcan, which I just do not trust from Teddy. At oh my God. Run, Teddy. It was a tie. Wants us to start with the sweeper. 
Oh boy. Okay, that was not quite where I wanted it. You don't really, I feel like you don't ever want the sweeper to end up in the zone. You want them to chase it out. That's a foul ball from David Cruz. We're going high and inside with the fastball. What? Oh, come on, man. Give me that call, ump. What are you doing, buddy? All right, we're going Vulcan change. He swings at that. Petty's still in. It is now six to three. His team got him the lead back. So despite giving up three runs, I think in the third, this has actually been a relatively good outing for Teddy Truman. He's had a lot of strikeouts. And there's another one, just as I say it. Now we're going top right. Bang! The ump's been calling those all day. We're going to go exact same spot. He can't hit us. Top right. Gone. Later, another strikeout for Teddy Truman. There's eight strikeouts for the youngest Truman brother. That is the hangingest of hanging curveballs I've ever seen. Going inside heat again. High and inside. That's, that's where you go with the fastball. I kind of want to go to the sweeper to see if I can get him to chase and then strike out oh my god left that way up in the zone because my timing was bad and that's a base hit almost killed teddy but it went over his head instead of into his head well runner on now and that's another one right up the middle but it stopped i don't think we're getting an out here yeah it was close but not quite uh oh teddy we got to get you out of this situation again oh my god teddy teddy Okay, so if Teddy misses a pitch, it is going to be right down the middle. 3-1 count. I might walk this. It wants me to go to the sweeper on a 3-1 is an interesting decision. Okay, my, the catcher's hyping me up. Now I'm feeling good. We're going cut fastball. Bang. Perfect pitch, Teddy. Struck him out. He's gone. Ninth strikeout, I think, for Teddy. And we go to the sixth if they're keeping us in after giving up four runs. It's not the worst performance. Oh, they do bring in Ted Kennedy. They replaced Teddy with Ted. No. Why is he wearing number 30? He was wearing our number. Did you see that? He was also wearing number 30. Projected round 11. Yikes. That wasn't the best from Mr. Teddy Truman. Final game of the combine, I'm guessing. Well, we're definitely not pitching again the day after. So we're definitely at the plate. I wonder if we're in the field, though, or if we're a DH. All right, Teddy, up to bat. Final day of the draft combine, and then we'll see what team he ends up on. I'm swinging at the first pitch. Oh, one. Mike Asensio is the pitcher here. That's a ball. Oh, my, that has to be gone. Kiss the bat, Teddy. Wait, it's a no doubter he didn't kiss the bat. Oh, that's I picked that animation, but an absolute bomb from Teddy Truman. A grand slam, in fact. They did not realize that the bases were juiced. Teddy Truman, four RBIs on one swing. Absolute bomb to left field. First homer in the Teddy Truman road to the show comes in the draft combine day number three. 403, 106 exit velocity, pretty fast. That's a that was a bomb, an absolute bomb. Double decker, actually. Second deck. Teddy now out in the field. The guy on second is pretty fast. He has 80 speed. So we're probably not throwing him out at home. Although we're going to try. Square, 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 triangle, circle. I think we got him. We did. A throw out for Teddy Truman having himself a day here in the final game of the draft combine. He does not have a big arm. He had to absolutely lay out for that. And it barely beat the guy with 80 speed. But we'll get there. Can Teddy hit another homer? Or really, oof, just get on base again. I was a little early there. That was a good one to hit, though. Second pitch of the at-bats is inside. Teddy will take. And the third pitch, another one inside. It's now 2-1 for Theodore Truman. Theodore Teddy Truman. 2-1. He gives us one to hit. We take it the other way. I was well late on that. But it's a base hit nonetheless. Teddy to first. And we will skip the base running because Teddy is very slow. So there's no point in watching. He's not going to steal anything. Two for two. A single and a home run. Maybe looking for the cycle here. We are up seven to one. My goodness. That is low and inside. Mostly just inside, actually. Runner on first with one out. 1-0 one -oh for Teddy. Here comes the pitch. That one was an absolute meatball. And I was late on it. And it's going to be caught by the center fielder. That should have been gone as well. Back in the field once again. wonder what team we'll go to as a two-way player outfielder combo. And wow. Are we... I don't know if Teddy's getting to that. He's kind of slow. Nope. He's not. And it's good for a double. That was my bad. My reaction sucked. And Teddy's kind of slow. So now it's 7-4. to four. New pitcher for Teddy. That's a good pitch. Strike one. 
Oh my god, another absolute meatball. But I think, yeah, not enough under it from Teddy. Should have been probably even a third home run for Teddy Truman. Got under it too much. Flies out. Teddy out in the field now. As Alan Gatlin hits one and we're throwing to third. There is no way that runner is actually running to third on this. No way. He's out by an absolute mile. I mean, a toddler could have thrown that guy out. But this toddler, his name's Teddy Truman. And he's got a bigger arm than a regular toddler. Up to the plate for what is likely the final time during the draft combine. Oh my god, another meatball. I had good timing, but I think it's going to fly out again. And it does. We advance the runner to third, though. Oh, dude. There was some serious potential here. I got so many meatballs. And Teddy just getting under them a little too much. Not showing off the power like he did on the first home run, but not bad. It's 11-5, and we get one more fielding appearance here in the bottom of the ninth, but unless there's some huge rally from this Navy team, I think we are headed to the draft, and we'll see where Teddy goes, as this should just be a catch. Oh, I should have just thrown it to third. I did not expect that guy to run. I don't think we're getting that throw from Teddy, to be honest, though. 11-5 is the final, and now a good chunk of the teams are interested in us, but not as many as I would have liked, actually. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So exactly half of the teams in the MLB are interested in Teddy Truman. But, I, you know, I think that they should all be interested, if I'm being honest. Here we go. MLB draft time. Stephanie Saunders, our agent. Hey, Teddy, how is my favorite client? Bit disappointed after i feel like your combine performance was great you gave like good innings you hit a home run like you weren't bad i'm hearing we should expect you to be drafted somewhere between around 16 and 14. let's see what happens i mean chester truman was drafted in the fifth round of the nfl draft which is a very late pick in the nfl and ended up being the best wide receiver in the nfl so here we go where is teddy truman being drafted to be the next shohei otani toddler truman indeed bro is does, is not drippy that polo is not yeah that's not great you've been the mets okay i'm a little scared of that the mets have been bad for a long time but teddy truman headed to new york is a new york met while his brothers are playing in denver he is in new york in the big apple well there you have it teddy truman the youngest truman brother is a new york met hey teddy congrats on being drafted by the mets i couldn't be happier for you how do you feel about being the newest member of the mets franchise you want to be the greatest mets player of all time i'm grateful to be drafted by the mets organization but i'm not happy i was drafted as late as i was Let's say we're gonna be the best Mets player of all time. Teddy's a confident guy. How are you feeling about your draft position? It's it's fine. We don't, I mean, we're in the show, right? Like, sure, we're not in the MLB yet, but we're we're on our way, so it's fine. Who cares? I've talked to the organization and they told me you will be starting at the double A level with the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. No way, we're a member of the Rumble Ponies. One of the best names in all of sports. Keep doing what you do to stay at the top of your game mentally and physically. And you'll be good to go when you report to Binghamton in April. How do you how do you say this? Is it Binghamton? The Rumble Ponies, bro. Imagine somebody asking you what you do for work and you have to tell them, oh yeah, I play for the Rumble Ponies. Teddy Truman, let me officially welcome you to the Rumble Ponies. Ready to put some serious work in? Heck yeah, I am. Good, glad to hear it. In the minors, you get what you put in, work hard, don't give me any problems, and you'll be fine. You got it, Skip. Great meeting you. We're glad to have you here. Hope you're ready to get to work. I am skip what is his name giancarlo vaccaro that is a fantastic name giancarlo vaccaro is that a real dude here we are chat we are officially a two-way player for the rumble ponies 